Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! So today's story is a mystery adventure, which means you're going to have to listen very close. I'm not going to tell you what kind of critter that this story is about. (laughs) There's going to be some clues along the way that you're going to have to listen very closely to so that you can solve this mystery. Who is Cody? Cody's my name and hunting's my game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cody's my name and hunting's my game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cody ran around the tall grass near his home singing this little melody over and over again. It had been a long winter, and he was finally big enough to be out of hiding, out of the den. Ah, oh, he stretched his tail, sniffed the fresh air, and pounced on imaginary prey. He had a pretty good imagination. How about you? Do you know what it means to have a good imagination? Yeah, it means you can close your eyes and maybe picture something really cool. Or maybe you come up with a really good idea of a new game to play. Well, Cody was good at all of those things. And Cody, where are you? It's time for breakfast. Oh, that's Cody's mom calling from the burrow. Ah, uh, mom, uh, I'm not hungry. Uh, can we go already? Cody complained because he was feeling really impatient. He was just so excited to learn about hunting. And with all that excitement, he had lost his appetite. Cody, we will not be going until you've had some food in your belly, his mother said sternly. (sighs) Okay. He hung his head and slowly went back into the burrow, into the dinner pile. All of his brothers and sisters were happily feasting on berries, leftovers from winter, and some bits of meat. Cody ate a few bites and waited impatiently until it was okay to head back outside. Remember, he was really excited. His tail was swinging back and forth as he waited. You see, his mother and father had been taking turns bringing a few of the kids on a hunting trip to learn. Cody was excited for his turn. He had been waiting so very long. Can we go now, Mom? Dad? Mom? Dad? Somebody? Are you ready? Cody asked and jumped around some more. Hold on, Cody. You need to be patient. Aunt Marge is coming to watch your brothers and sisters. As soon as she is here, then we will go. What seemed like an eternity or even like ten eternities... Aunt Marge came to the den. (laughs) She was actually Cody's great aunt, and she seemed more like a grandma. She moved a little bit slower. Her fur was a little scruffy and had turned gray. She was nine years old, but had the best stories and was always up for a good cuddle. Aunt Marge! Oh, today is my turn! It's my turn! Cody was so excited to tell her. Cody... Have a wonderful time. I can't wait to hear your stories when you come back. Aunt Marge gave Cody a little snout rub and quick lick. Don't worry, I'll share all my stories when I'm back. I can't wait, Cody said 
After saying goodbye to his siblings, he headed out with his mom and dad. Cody headed out into the brush with both his parents close by. His dad quietly told him stories about hunts he'd gone on all alone before he met Cody's mom. Sometimes critters like them hunted all by themselves, but they also hunted in little family groups, just like Cody was hunting with his mom and dad. After a little while, the three came to an open area. It was dark still had some steam coming off of the ground. What is that, Dad? Cody was concerned and curious about that steam. Well, son, sometimes the open fields burn. It's it's one way for the plants to stay healthy and grow back stronger. We're used to seeing patches like these in these parts. But stay close, said his dad. There isn't as much for us to camouflage into. Since it was pitch black and burnt all around, there was no longer any sandy brush with trees and bushes to hide in. Cody's fur was tan, a little bit of gray hint, but against the black dirt, it stood out really strong. They walked along the edges and kept a close eye and ear out for sounds. Then suddenly, something dashed ahead of them across the whole blank field. Quick, duck down, Cody. Cody's mom said, and she hid him under the brush along the sideline. They stayed there still for a few minutes and then realized what they had heard was just a few deer passing through. Cody's heart was pounding, (laughs) but he was glad it hadn't been anything dangerous. This was all very exciting to him. After a bit more cautious walking, they came to the edge of the burnt field and entered super lush forest. Cody followed closely and soon realized his parents started to make a high-pitched yip-yip sound. They'd made it a few times, then stop, then start up again. Yip-yip. He tried to follow along with them. After all, this was his chance to learn how to hunt. It sure was hard to figure out what that sound actually meant. Yip, yip, yip. Cody tried to make the sound, then both his parents started to yip together, and the sound got closer and closer together. Cody kept close by and suddenly saw what they were yipping at. It was his chance to really hunt. This was his moment. He was so excited. Will Cody catch his first hunt with his parents? And what do you think his parents are yipping at? A rodent? A bird? Or something else? I'm not sure... But we are going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Ah, parents, remember those glorious childhood moments? You know, pedaling down the street on your bike, feeling the breeze in your hair? Or pick up games of basketball with your friends as the sun dipped below the horizon? Or having a camp out in your backyard with all your neighborhood friends? Well, here's the thing. Those moments may not seem like much to us now, but for kids, they're nothing short of epic. And the thing is, Capri Sun is always there. Riding bikes, building forts, making new friends, each choice a child makes encourages this sense of independence. Capri Sun is all about kids getting to call the shots. So, listen, next time you see a kid pedaling their heart out or aiming for that perfect shot or building a home away from home in the backyard with neighborhood kids inside a cardboard box, remember that Capri Sun is there, not just as a delicious drink, but as a tribute to the untamed spirit of childhood. Capri Sun, it's going to be epic. Hey, great job. You listened all the way to the end. We have got to talk about these clues because I haven't figured out what kind of critter that Cody is. Have you? Hmm. So they live in a den. He has some siblings. Him and his parents go out for a hunt and he has some fur. Do you remember what color that fur was? Oh, yeah. Tan with a hint of gray. Hmm. And they, they make that yip yip sound. Hmm, wow, this is a tough one. I'm not sure, but I know that you, Critter Protectors, are going to help solve this mystery together. 
All right, friends. Well, I'm going to see you on our next adventure. Bye. Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org.